Hey everybody, welcome back to Marvel Live here at New York Comic Con 2015. I am Marvel.com senior editor Ben Morris. He is Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M. And this is writer Dennis Hopeless. Um, you get your own introduction, man. You're a big star. I was gonna say my own name, but Okay, you wanna say your own no, name? No, you already did it, you ruined it. You can tell us what you write. I write uh, Spider Woman and I'm about to start writing all new X-Men. Very exciting. Actually, I guess I already write all new X-Men, which is not out yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have, you're in the process of continuing to write all new X-Men. Yes, yes I am. Let's talk about all new X-Men for a sec. So what's it like jumping into the X-Men? It's a huge mythology, it's a huge thing, you know, a lot of big creators have worked on it, and now you're getting to put your stamp on it, and especially the all new X-Men, who are Brian Bendis' kind of con contributions to this. Yeah, uh, following Bendis is really intimidating. Like, Bendis <laughs> is, was a really big deal uh, when I was in college. Like, he's one of the reasons I got back into comics. Mm -hmm. um, and reading, like, Power's script book and stuff is kind of how I figured out I wanted to be a comic book creator. So yeah, it's horribly intimidating to follow <laughs> Brian out of the book. Um, but he's been really cool. Um, he said, you know, I could ask him any questions, and he congratulated me and stuff. So it's it's a lot of fun. And then also working with Bagley. I was going like to say, you get to follow Bendis and work with Bagley. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's kind of a crazy job, but it's been really fun. Uh, we're we're going to go in a little bit of a different direction than, than what he's been doing. So it's a, it's a new thing. And uh, I got to write those characters on my very first paid work, which was uh, <laughs> X-Men Season 1. Nice. So I feel like I've kind of done this before. That's true. Um, which makes it a little easier. That's interesting, because you, you got to write them basically in their time, doing like almost a retro thing, and this is the original X-Men in our time. How do, they, how do they differ from the versions you wrote in season one? Well, uh, sort of the conceit of the book is, in Bendis' run, they spent a lot of time worrying about getting home, mm -hmm. and at this point, this is no longer the future for them, this is the now. So right. how do we live here, how do we, you know, what are we gonna be going forward, and how do we avoid having the crazy, horrible lives that our adult selves have? Um, so. So yeah, like in my mind, that book is how they used to be, and this book is how they are now and where they are going to be going forward. In addition, you've also got some new characters you're adding. You're adding Oya, you're adding Genesis. Is he Genesis, or is he back to Kid Apocalypse? I, I, I'm terrible with the code names. I yeah. always, in the scripts, I always just call you them just by call their real names. Yeah. yeah, cool. So Evan and ID is how I And then all new, all new Wolverine as well. Yes, X-23, yes, yes. Laura Kinney. Which I, I get to write Laura in uh, Avengers Arena, so it's fun to have yeah. her back in a place where she's not in a death match. Yeah. She seems like she's in, she's, I'm hoping to see her in a better place. It seems like what Tom's doing, what you might be doing, puts her in less of like that every, you know, where we saw her in the first couple years. Absolutely. And then in the death match. Yeah, yeah. I, things are, are looking up for Laura, and she wants, you know, she wants to embrace the Wolverine, the, you know, like the, <laughs> the, the post-darkness Wolverine, where he wanted to just be a superhero and, and help people. She's embracing that, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to, to see that other side of her. Yeah. Let's jump over to Spider-Woman for a second. Unless, did you have another X-Men well, question? Well, I wanted to mention that we have Coheed and Camarilla coming up, and we have a couple tweets coming in. But yes, talk about Spider-Woman. Let's talk about Spider-Woman, then let's get some tweets in. Uh, you're continuing on, you and Javier Rodriguez, yes. picking things up, but there's a pretty significant difference yes. uh, following the eight-month gap after Secret Wars. Yes, uh, Jess is very, very pregnant when very. we come back. Um, which is a lot of fun. It's, it's very much the same book we were doing before. This is just like a new season. And the, the conceit of that book has always been, Jess wants a real life, so we're gonna hit her in the face with real life. <laughs> and what better way to do that than to make somebody very pregnant. Um, so yeah, that, that book's a lot of fun. Uh, you, you, guys, I, you guys really made me come around on that character. I mean, I've always liked her, she's been fine, but when you started on initially with Greg Land and then with Javier Rodriguez, yeah. it's become one of my favorite books. She's really, I, I see why people love that character now. Yeah, it's, it, we're basically doing Rockford Files, <laughs> which is strange, but it, it's perfect. And Javier makes me look very good. Like, I, honestly, I, I, that book is all him. Um, but I, we're just having a blast doing it, and we're going to keep doing it. Very cool. Ryan, what do we got from Twitter? Uh, Yabanzik asks, uh, well, first he says, really love your work. Any plans for more Avengers Arena or undercover characters, especially Cammy? I would love to use Cammy. Um, I've, I've talked to um, an editor about doing something very short with Cammy. Like a Cammy Drex thing, maybe. Uh, oh, but that'd be cool. I'm also behind, so <laughs> we'll have to see if I can <laughs> add some things. Uh, I would write Cammy any day of the week. I love the character, um, so maybe. Uh, DJ Fanko asks, uh, how? What was the pitch like to reinvent Arcade for the uh, the Avengers series? <laughs> well, we were trying to figure out a, a villain for that. The, Genesis of that book was very weird because I had pitched something completely different and I had an arc that was going to be a death match and Axel and Tom were just like, no, just do that. That's your whole book. <laughs> so then I had to find like one villain and uh, Arcade was, was Axel's, Axel Alonzo, the editor-in-chief of Marvel, his, his suggestion. Um, and he just said, make Arcade cool, which <laughs> seemed really hard at the time, but I think we did it. Pulled it off. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, two minutes or one minute 
and we have Coheed and Cambria. Uh, so we've talked about Spider Woman, um, and we've talked about well, how many issues now is this going to be for Spider Woman? We did. We did 10 before, and uh, yeah, so the, the 11th issue will be the new number one. Yeah, I also want to mention that if you guys want a sneak peek, you can check out Amazing Spider-Man number one, where you and Javier did a great short story, kind of Thank proving you. what's going on. I, lo I love the, the pacing of that. It was yeah, that's cool. one of my favorite things he's ever drawn, so you yeah. probably already have that, because everybody bought that, everybody but did. you should take a look at the short in the back. Go buy it's another great. copy. It, are you working with Nick in the Spider Office, or who are you working Nick and, with? Nick and Devin. That's yeah. good. That's a fun, they're, they're having fun. Yes, in yes, that's a, that's, a, that's a fun office to be in, for sure. Okay, as we wrap up, Dennis, where can people find you online as they get ready for all new X-Men and for Spider-Woman to come back? Uh, mostly on Twitter, um, hope, at Hopeless Tent on Twitter. I have a website, I don't ever do anything with it. I have nice. two babies at home, so it's it's difficult to do anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on Twitter mostly. We get that a lot. We get a lot of, I have a website, but I don't do anything with yeah. it. So you're in good company. All right, guys, we're going to be coming back on the other side with Coheed and Cambria. Thank you to Dennis Hopeless for joining us. And thank you guys for watching us here at Marvel Live at New York Comic Con 2015.